Hello guys, uh, today I came home to a surprise, sitting on my front steps. Uh, it's the second annual Loot Crate from Luke's Toy Store. Uh, if you remember last year, it was like one of the first videos, might have been the first video I ever made on here. But um, the last video, or the last Loot Crate, was a Dio all-in-one. And it was a rooftop scene, kind of Daredevil themed. Uh, it was very cool, very worth the money, came with a t-shirt and a few other random accessories. Um, and this one was hinted at that's a villain set, so that was pretty exciting. Uh, so anyways, um, I was going to open this up with you guys and kind of share the experience of seeing what's all in here. But tonight's Halloween, people would have been ringing the doorbells and they couldn't wait, you know, three hours to, to uh, open this up and see what cool items we got. And after opening up and looking, you guys are going to love what you see. Um, so without further ado, let's, uh, take a peek at what's inside. So the first thing that we'll look at, let's see if I can pan back just a little bit here with my super high tech uh, camera system. But this is this year's t-shirt. think about this. Let's see if I can set it up to where you guys can actually see it decently. <laughs> so, Mini Mates, I like at the top uh, are all the corners. The the uh, movable, posable, articulated, addictive is probably the best word on there. Swap parts, Mini Mates, block style figures. Um, very cool. Like the maroon shirt. This will be a nice addition to last year's shirt, which was the Mini Mate spec, kind of uh, construction specs of uh, what the figures, how it all measures out. But um, yeah, that's a very cool t-shirt. I really like it. It's got a very cool uh, design to it. I don't know if Luke did that or, or who came up with the design, but I love it. Um, well, let's see what else is in here. So as I said, you guys are going to be super surprised with what's all going on in here and this is like one of the coolest pieces of the whole thing so this is kind of a, I don't know what you'd call this my upcoming Galactus shots will probably have this cool looking uh, design looks like there's some Lego pieces on here there's um let's move this box out of the way slide this back a little bit but yeah, there's um, a lot going on here. I don't know, this must be, what I'm looking at it, and what I think it is, is a plug-in box from a local hardware store with a bunch of additions. Yeah, it is, actually. This, God, I'm trying to think, I just remodeled my, or just finished off my basement, and this looks, these are nail. Oh, so this is an electric box for two outlets. Okay, that's what it is. Anyways, hard to even tell, but damn, does it look cool. Um... Let's see here, get a little bit better lighting on it. There we go, much, much better. So yeah, it's got a lot of designs on it. Could probably use it in several different angles. I mean, this angle works, I don't know what's going on there, but it's some kind of energy, yeah, who knows what it is. It's freaking cool though. Oh yeah, definitely gonna be using this for some fantastic four shots. Awesome, love it, absolutely love it. Let's see what else we got. We got a floor and we got a background. So let's find something to put behind there. Yeah, that's so, that's so awesome. Oh, here's the slip, the packing slip. For a Loot Crate number two supervillain lair. Vintage, the contents are vintage mini mate t-shirt, power transference machine diorama, supervillain lair wall, supervillain lair floor, work table, and blueprints. Blank mini mate to create shockwave. Villain sticker kit, including shockwave. Decoy bomb accessory, random mini mate accessory, and vintage mini mate sticker. He's got a picture of um, Dr. Doom with 
with, uh, God, what's his name again? Shockwave, which I got to say, I had to Google Shockwave. Never heard of him before, um, which I apparently I've seen him because I was a big fan of the hood during, uh, during the Dark Reign era, and he was one of the background characters, but man, I don't think... I don't think I'd ever heard of him up until now or even noticed him, which, like, that's kudos, you know, kudos to Luke for coming up with that. I, I like obscure characters. So let's see what else we got. We've got this body. And we've got, ooh, there's some good stuff in here. We got a gun. I'm guessing those won't be the same for everybody since it's just a simple um, accessory. But here is a bomb, which that looks pretty damn cool. I like that. That's an awesome accessory you'll get plenty of use out of. And then sticker get kit instructions sticker kit instructions oh here we go shockwave what you'll need all his parts are included who is he lancaster sneed served as a dem demolitions specialist at mi6 britain secret service until he caught he was caught in an explosion and rebuilt himself with metal plates sneed journeyed to asia to study martial arts before constructing an exoskeleton that enabled him to generate electricity through his body. Now calling himself Shockwave, he works as a mer mercenary for hire. He debuted in Master of Kung Fu and was featured in West Coast Avengers and Spider-Man. Recently, he was involved in Civil War, Secret Invasion, and Dark Reign. So here's the other super exciting um, deal with this set. We've got, from right... Silvermane, I've always kind of wanted to make him, not that important, but he is a Spider-Man villain everybody should kind of have. You got the Mad Thinker face, I'm going to have to make him eventually, I think I got all the rest of the parts to make him. You got the Goblin Queen, which is a big one, she should be pretty easy for me to make, the rest of her. Um, so yeah, she's an X-Men character that we probably should have had by DST by now, but... Now, how can a guy complain? we got so much X-Men coming out uh, in the past few years. And then, of course, Shockwave. we got all the parts for him. So, so then the last thing we got, and I'm going to try putting it together real quick. Um, it's basically a Lego set. But this is what it's going to look like when it's done. So let me see if I can snap this together real quick without you guys sitting here feeling like you're wasting your time watching the video. But uh, I guess not to, uh, to, I guess to distract everybody, how many of you are excited about Thor? That's, that opens in America Thursday, it's two days from now. Um, you know, it looks like a great movie, it's pretty amazing. You know, Hulk's in there, Doctor Strange is in there for a little bit, I think. Um, it just looks like a rad movie, I mean... Uh, you know, Hela, that, that headpiece they gave her, they did a fine job with that. Um, so I, I really can't wait. I know some of my British friends and uh, other friends from all over the world have seen it uh, and really seem to enjoy it. So I'm not sure if this is a sticker that tabletopped this thing. I'm hoping it's a sticker. But I'm starting to think it isn't. I don't really want to wreck it. I don't think it's a sticker. So, um, so anyways, the tabletop is like the design of the machine and back. And uh, I like it. It'll come in handy. It's just a little table um, with some cool specs on it. So that's pretty awesome too. So anyways, I didn't want to uh, just open this up without taking a picture too. So I think what I'm going to do... I don't have, I'm not going to take the time to make Shockwave yet anyway. So what I'm going to do is get a few other Luke's Toy Story things. We got, we got here is one of the other 
wall pieces from Luke's Toy Store. I highly recommend these. For those of you who uh, want to get into the picture taking game, um, go out and spend some money at Luke's Toy Store on some of this stuff. Those Dio walls, Dio pieces are pretty damn cool. Uh, worth every penny. I get a lot of use out of them. Um, give myself a, a, a cool looking background. Realistic, I guess, as far as realistic goes with toys. So, and mini mates. So basically, I got a little tack. I'm gonna stick Superman in there. And I guess since you guys are seeing what it's like behind the scenes, I just gotta say, there's a scene in Iron Man 2 when he's making his new chess piece and his lab is getting cut apart. You guys know which one it is. It's um, a pretty cool scene. His lab, he's, de he's destroying his lab. That's what it's like when I uh, take pictures. My, uh, my room that I take all my pictures in is completely destroyed. It's kind of pathetic, actually. So, actually, tonight I planned on cleaning a bunch of it up and getting it reorganized. I haven't done any of that because this came in and it's Halloween. So, anyways, got my setup done. This is what I'm going for. You get Superman in some kind of contraption. Uh, we can pretend that's red kryptonite or some something like that, or maybe up by his head that's kryptonite, depowering him. And then you got Dark Side. I don't think I've ever done a picture with him before. I'm gonna have to turn Superman's head just to uh, make him look at um, Dark Side, and uh, that'll pretty much be my quick picture. I'll throw up tonight on Instagram. Uh, anyways, what do you guys think of Luke's uh, Luke Luke Crate? Um, is this worth, I think it was 35, God, I think it was 35 bucks, God, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, I would hate to mis misquote the price on it, but he does this once a year, he did sell out this year, uh, last year took a little bit longer, I think, uh, but, you know, I, I know a lot of people, at least a few people, wanted the t-shirt and really regretted not spending the money on it, I hope they took the time to do it this year, because this set is something else, it's really, really cool, um, God, I wonder if I should even put this up on Instagram because other people haven't gotten their sets yet. So, anyways, um, hope you guys like the video. Hope you guys like the set. Hope you guys like pictures. Check out my uh, check it out on check out the link in the comments for my Instagram. And uh, thanks for viewing the video. Hit like and subscribe on the way out. Appreciate the view, and we'll see you guys around.